Hi, in this video we're going to talk about components in Angular. How to create them, how to remove them, and what we can do with those four files that were generated when we created our component. All our components are located in this folder app that is located in the folder source. And so far we have four components, about, contact, home and navbar. And each of those components would have four files. Let's create one more component just to experiment with that. Let me expand VS Code and let me stop the application. Control C. And here in the terminal I'm going to type ng generate component is our command to create a component and example is the name of our component. We can also make it shorter and instead of type the whole word generate we can just type g and also instead of component we can just type c. So let's execute it by pressing enter. As you can see in the terminal, four files have been created. The first one, example component HTML, example component spec TS, example component TS, and example component CSS. Also, there was one update. Something was updated inside this app module TS. Let's look at all these creations and updates. First, let's go inside this example folder. And here we have our newly created files. Then let's go inside the app module TS file. And this is the file where we register all our components. So first we imported this file. And second we declare this component in this declaration array right here. Every component we create we have to declare it in this file. If we don't do it the Angular would not just know that we have this component in our project. Let's close this file and let's look at all files inside our component folder. First let's look at this spec.ts file and talk about it. And as you can see there is code already in here. This is your testing file. Each Angular project comes with built-in testing framework and when we create every component we already have a testing file that is being created for us to test this specific component. Now this file is not connected to this component in any way. It tests it but we can actually move it anywhere in the application and we can remove it. It's not gonna affect anything. There's actually a special switch in our ng generate command that will prevent us from creating this file when we generate our component. If we google angular component generate the very first link will point you to the official angular documentation and here I can click on component and inside this option section I can find this switch let me copy it let's go back to VS code and here we'll create another component we will name it example 1 and we will insert the switch that we copied for our documentation. I'm gonna press enter and as you can see only three files are now created HTML, TS and CSS. We don't have this spec TS file and if I go to this example as you can see we have only three files. Now let's go inside our example folder and delete this file. I'm gonna right click delete and let's check if our application still works. So that's about our spec.ts file. Let's move to our CSS file. If I click on this CSS file as you can see it's just empty. Let's try to delete it and see what happens. But before I do it I want to just mention that this CSS file is our styling file just for our component. We also have a file style CSS where we can add global styles. So if we don't style anything specifically for this component we can just safely delete it. Let's delete it and let's see what happens. The component is gone and as you can see our application failed to compile. Let's see on the error. And the error module not found. When you delete the CSS file you need to make sure that you go to this example component TS and remove this reference to this file. So all I need to do delete this file, save it, control S, let me scroll down 
And as you can see, our application successfully compiled. It all works. Now we have only two files left inside our component folder, HTML and TS. And these two files are required for our component to work. As you can see in this example component TS, we have this decorator component. And if we have this decorator for this class, we have to have both this HTML and TS file. Now, there will be times when you create a component, but then you realize that you actually don't need it and you want to remove them. Let's see how to delete it. So we have this folder example, and I'm just gonna right click and delete it. And as you can see right away, our application failed to compile. The reason that it failed to compile is that after deleting the component, we need to go to our module TS and remove the reference to that component. Let me delete our example one folder and do the same thing in the app module TS. And as you can see, our application successfully compiled. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.